Christmas party? Yes, show? I am ironically wearing a ski nautique shirt. <laughs> to the Paragon unveiling. Here we are in my backyard. So you're probably gonna hear kids playing in the, in the background uh, making noise. <laughs> Pay no attention because this is probably what you're looking at, not my silly face. Here we have it, 2020 Paragon G23. Uh, or is it G23 Paragon? Super Aeronautique G23 Paragon. There's a lot of names going on, but hey, this thing has earned it. The Super Aeronautique has always been number one. G23, number one, and the Paragon has just taken this to a new level. And so you guys are gonna take a quick tour here through this boat. Nobody else really to give a better tour than the guy who is in charge of the whole design department, Steve Carlton. Woo! What's happening? That guy. <laughs> so, um, Steve, check it out. This is, our, this is our fully actuated tower. This is built by Roswell. This is eight actuators inside of this thing. You'll see them moving together, so it's super transformer-like. Very elegant movement of this thing. Once it's in its full up position, you can run with it fully up. You can run with it fully down. You can run with it fully down. I love that. Like, it's like maximum shade. Only while you play the song Low Rider. It's the only time. Yeah, you gotta have the song Low Rider playing. But, um, but you you can like yes. run this thing uh, with it all the way down. And I just drove it around here up to my dock. I was like, I like this low setting. Beautiful. You can literally talk for an hour on this thing because you just oh, took through dealers, 21 presentations of a Callaway Garden. So we'll give like kind of the condensed version. Crazy new speakers up here. These speakers have the integrated facets into the grill like we have throughout the rest of the cockpit that we've had that were famous on the G from the very get-go. There's two 8.8s in separate chambers up inside of this guy. It has downward firing, down firing lighting in it. You'll see there's actually upholstered panels on the bottom side of it to kind of help bring that upholstery up into the whole top of the tower and all through. That's his okay, engineer talk. Here's mine. <laughs> they got these sick new speakers and they sound awesome and they look rad. <laughs> Board storage on top. Of course. All round light. Show them the rear seats. Show rear, the rear seats. seats. Let's look at We're the jumping seats. right into those. So oh. this is your rear seat. Got your headrest. When you lift the headrest, you got the full paragon across there. This is nice. Can you can you um, sit back here while you're underway? No. No. That's a good question, Sean. No, you definitely can't sit back here while you're underway. I just down. This is the amazing part of this. A single touch of my toe, I release this guy, and I've got access to my storage down below. Ah, that was fun. Cooler. All right. That's cool. Always stocked with water. All right. Sick. Is that 125 horsepower? 125. <laughs> Yeah, about, four stroke. About, about 130 in here. Like four stroke? 130, 131, whatever it takes. All right. And this locks now. So it doesn't accidentally open. Now, full backrest. We, we designed this cooler specifically for our boat. Fully loaded right now has the same matching C deck, Chromax, even the latch out of the boat. So it looks and feels like a nautique, even when you don't have it in the boat. And if you take it to the beach, you leave the logo behind. Totally new battery maintenance system. It separates the batteries into three different groups. And so it lets you never ever use your stereo to the point that you can't start the boat. Optional seat. It flips over to become a step. You see the thing here. Yep, yep. All right, quiet, just for a second. Quiet Go ahead. You rolling? Bow has gone 14 inches wider from the windshield forward. Allows armrests on both sides now. Uh, some of these substrates wrap all the way around. New light up logos in the front. Both of these steps can be optional flip overs. Upgraded bow. Steve, you know what would be sick? What would be sick? As if you guys did like a bimini extension to where if I stood out here, I was still in the... What? Oh, that is a good idea. That just happened. Yeah. That'd be rad. You should like you should have one in the back. That's you, should, a, you should put one in the back. That's a wait. That's a, what? That's, that's a great idea, Sean. What? Yeah, that's good. Steve, there's some new dash stuff. You should. We're gonna go full thirty thousand foot view here. So, we've taken all the information that you need to have up in front of you, and set it over to one side. 
and everything else we put over to the right. So really everything I'm interacting with on my touch screen is on this side, everything else is fixed over there. One of the greatest things about this is this new software we have for the new layout of it. Before we had NSS and NCRS, and some people get confused sometimes about do I my five or my zero and all that. So what we've done is basically the boat is figuring out what that is. You pick the wave shape that you want, and I can adjust what that wave cross section looks like here. And so it's basically zero through 10, and this is a good, Really, uh, it, it's cartoon-like, but it is a good representation of what the cross-section of the wave is. So this, I think, is a is a better um, version because it's simpler. Because it, rather than having to figure out the numbers and what each thing means, you just say, "Make my wave shape look like that." There you go. <laughs> and um, you know, be sick as if you guys had wireless charging over there. Oh, that's, wait, yeah. what you yeah. do? Prove yeah. it. <laughs> right here. Thing. Oh, you're charging. Weird, it's charging and it doesn't have a wire plugged into it. Here's one of the best pieces cool. of this boat too, is when we find a way to make the software better or to give you a new rev of the software, or do anything that we want to do remotely to this boat, we can send that software, it has its own onboard telematics, so we can send, it has its own, basically like an air card, so we can send it right to its own like, unit. Like a, so it's like a phone, like a phone. receiver, yeah. and you can be like beep, 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 you're done riding. You're like from the factory. You're like you guys haven't checked in a while and got an oil we, change. We, we We're gonna no, shut no, your boat do, down. No, Beep. That, that is not. You haven't no. gotten a new boat soon enough. <laughs> Boop. You didn't get the version we wanted you to get. Bad color choice. <laughs> Boop. Your boat's off. Sorry about you. We're we're not we're not we're not doing that. <laughs> not yet. There's laws. I'm gonna find that. that control room. And I'm gonna like, There's gonna be an edit to this, I feel like. Like that guy is going, <laughs> that guy's not good enough, so I'm gonna back some of the weight out of his boat while he's wakeboarding. I thought beep, his beep, wife beep. was a little snarky during the sale. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> um, fire up the sound system. Okay, like that that is just like a super quick tour, but lastly, uh, the sound system. Hey, Steve, you know it'd be cool if you guys put two subs in it. How about four? <laughs> yeah. Four twelves. Four subs. Show them, show them, show them. One under here, right up front, 12 inch sub. There's another one buried under there that you can't see, and in the back is the wake subs. Yeah. But everything is done with basically combiners. Right so now, he's getting real system, technical with this talk, explaining the how they run four subs where, in this boat. What you're yes. using the batteries for and One, is. two, so it's thinking three about and it. four and so in the back. Where do you see says, how much okay, air it's moving When I'm just using the battery back. power, all, all of one Tech battery is gonna be dedicated. As Of course you guys want to see in the boat, but I want to get behind the boat. Hopefully you guys want to see the wave. Steve, it's thanks amazing. surfing. Enjoy. He, he not only builds great boats, he can shred them. My turn! is awesome air is really relative because on my surfboard I felt like I was at least that high out of the wave but on my wakeboard I'll go a little bit higher <laughs>
as I was up there, I was like, I'm not, no, I'm going, I guess. <laughs> I like fingertips. <laughs> This boat looks amazing, everything about it functions amazing, but the riding and the surfing. I haven't done a heel seven off the wake in I don't know how long, and I did a heel five. Don't mind all that. I did a heel five and then like, it's like I got more time. I can do a seven. I kind of barely grabbed the handle, but it counts. Nice work on the boat. Best team on the planet. Yikes. You guys, thank you for watching. Get out on one of these if you have the opportunity. There's not many of them because it's pretty special. Questions and comments, do that below. Subscribe and enjoy your ride.